What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 3 of my Crystal Palace Football Manager 2019 Let's Play here on the FM19 Beta. Make sure to leave another thumbs up if you're enjoying this series and want to be seeing more. And personally, me, I'm absolutely loving it and I do have my Football Manager shirt that Sports Interactive sent me. I'll be wearing that sometimes, obviously not every single episode, like every single day, but yeah, I'll rep it sometimes. Uh, but most of the time you'll not be able to see it. <laughs> I have to put it up like that because i got my microphone. But anyway, guys, uh, I did want to let you know that. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to round up the results uh, we have got now. As you can see them on the screen, they were that tough fixture. And obviously, we, when we continued a little bit, uh, we had that League Cup draw. That was Exeter City. Uh, we struggled there. Um, well, we controlled the match, but we just couldn't find the back of net. We had to win on penalties. So, Liverpool, uh, that was a crazy game. You can take a look at all the different goals. And and I'll go to the tactics in a second, but that was huge. F uh, Jordan Ayew, he was absolutely amazing. He's going to be missing this first match because he's got food poisoning. Uh, so I thought I'll rest him for the first one. So we'll be playing two games here. So if you enjoy these episodes with two games, I'll try and get through them a bit quicker. So uh, that will be good, hopefully, and not too long. Uh, Man City, we uh, we were still able to get decent result. Like you see, Man City, Chelsea only picked up draws. But hey, we avoided losses. Uh, well, there, you might think Man City was the one that avoided loss. We, we took it to him, we really did, uh, Zaha being uh, real good, people been saying to play him on the wing, but hey, I guess we'll just go through the tactics as well, um, with Zaha, he, he's alright as a, well, yeah, he could play right wing or left wing, but we're not utilizing, we're like utilizing left midfielders and right midfielders, so we can't really utilize him there, but uh, anyway, guys, I did want to tell you, I knew, I knew the tactic we rolled with. Obviously, I went to create a tactic of a certain style and select the style, but then I was like, I got to build my, I got to build my, like I normally would, like I normally, would. it's a great new feature to build off a certain style in the game, but yeah, I just wanted to create it, again, it, instruction-wise and everything like that, uh, to change up a little bit when we're in possession. And this is something that's still going to be changed up a bit. But during these games I played, I changed it before that Liverpool one, because I was like, if we play like that, like we did against Leicester, yeah, we'll probably get dominated against Liverpool. You, d you know when you feel a tactic and it just doesn't feel right, but then this is the case where now... I feel it. <laughs> I can feel the attack is just a bit more better defensively, of course, but then also in attack. You just feel your attacks build up smoothly. You can just tell. So, yeah, we'll be heading into this one against Southampton. So, I thought we'll play two league matches in this one. We'll play Southampton and West Ham, and th there's always going to be important matches you want to see, but you know we need to progress uh, through <laughs> the series, especially in the beta, I want to get through, uh, I'm going to try and do two seasons, I'm going to try to do two seasons before the official release drops in a couple weeks, so <laughs> let's see if we can do that, uh, let me know if you want me to get two episodes out, maybe, yeah, smash the thumbs up, if we can try and smash over 200, reach 300, just, yeah, really show that support, and yeah, I'll try and get these videos done for you guys, but, uh, so, you know, the Hennessy situation, he's going to be out for quite some time. And then Jordan Ayew, like, he's been on form. Like, he's probably been the most fire, or <laughs> the most on, on, on fire striker right now. But, yeah, Zaha's been putting him home. And I was feeling like we just play both Zaha and Ayew, strikers, advance forward. That's what I've been doing, just so you know. But right now, because of that, we'll bring in Benteke. One thing, I just got to look in Benteke. His finishing's only 11. So, that's why I feel that target man support's best for him. And he can really set up for Zaha. That's the best uh, we're going to go with. So... Without talking too much more, and there's... See, we've got some players that could be starting on the bench, even, that are not even in the match day squad. So, again, it will still keep saying that, even though I've got seven selected. So, is that going to be something that's going to be fixed? Because I'm pretty sure I'm not doing something wrong. <laughs> that's been, like, each game so far. And, yeah, we got, like, the same selected, but... Yeah, I'll, I think I'll just skip that <laughs> from now on. And home matches will say passionately and, yeah, do it for the fans. Get to select all players passionately. Yeah, then I go to the top option there. There's a lot more to come from you. It's either that or when it says, or you can say to your players you have faith in them. That's what I generally opt to do. Boost some reactions there. That's, that's my way to go about it. 
And yeah, right or all, it's it's that's what I mean. We've got a decent sized squad at least. He's just being rested. Well, we could say that. Can we? Ex- I don't want to. I don't want to give away. I don't want to give away too many details. I've you've had a bit of a break recently, and 14 days since the last fixture. It's been good for us. What are we gonna say? I'm not concerning myself. I'm pleased with the work we're putting in training. Just want to say the best options there, not just click a random one. So come on, let's get into this now, guys. Some of you question maybe to slow it down a little bit, so maybe I'll push to that one there, and we'll just see. We'll see how it looks. Gameplay. I just thought, see, there was floating <laughs> the ball floating a little bit slowly, but yeah, let me know. I feel because when I'm playing games off camera, speed up a little bit more. Just so I can get, yeah, play these games and, yeah, get do another episode for you guys and get through it, you know. See, this feels slow. Like, in moments, the game, let me know. Just, just by a little, very, very small amount. It's just, see that, nah, that's, I want to show you guys that one. That I, And this is the next step, that one there, so I can't do it in between. Even though I feel this one is maybe ever so slightly quick. Just just by a little bit, just like the previous one was ever so slightly slower. And maybe they need to adjust it more for the perfect, absolutely perfect amount. But just to give you guys a little bit of a comparison. Oh, we almost sneak one there. But actually, this one against Southampton, I'm going to go on attacking. Sometimes I push it to balance when I'm playing one of those big sides. But there hasn't been too many chances, unfortunately. A couple half chances that, so let's say... Get creative. Oh, look at this. All inspired by the feedback for a second. Apart from the ge- keeper. But yeah, it's just going to be ending. Cedric has picked up a knock. I don't feel like Southampton feel like a danger in this match. Not at all. Uh, we like more possession, more chances. We just need to take those. And we'll say we're not doing badly at all. Just continue to work hard and we'll win this. That's the way the match is looking. Because we had better of possession, better of chances. Just keep working, and we will get that breakthrough. Most goals do come in the second half, especially late in the second half as well. Even though I don't like to leave it late, somehow, yeah, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> that's the way it goes sometimes. You just have to keep working hard, because the opposing side will not want to be conceding easily. Especially, yeah, you want to be responsible in the first half. But come on, Townsend. Townsend gets the ball in, and it's going to be a goal on the rebounds. And I feel that's how we had to work a goal in this game, uh, maybe to get a lucky one after we're working hard for it. So, yeah, we'll take a, a bit of uh, analysis at this. Townsend, he puts in a cross. Amazingly, there, Zaha really should have finished it, though. He should have got the job done, but, yeah, Benteke was there to pounce. So, yeah, Benteke is an interesting one for me. Like, that 11 finishing, I feel like, ooh, we might need a better striker than Benteke, but he's got a lot of positives to his game with his strength as well. So he's a really tough one. I've always seen him as that beastly striker, especially for, like, a mid-table side. You think he'll be dominant. Come on. Come on, guys. Oh, long. Long, see... Why don't I stay focused? I can be like that sometimes. Or we can get a lead 1-0... And then tactically, I just pause for a second. And I'm like, we haven't changed anything. And they got that ball over, a long ball over the top (laughs) to long. And he was able to finish. So, that's a bit disappointing though. I I, I just felt we were cruising a little bit. It it took me by surprise. But then Southampton, maybe they were realising they had to do something. So, I'm just hoping we can get that goal back. Van Aanholt, Zaha, come on. Come on, Townsend, set one up for someone. Tried to be too tricky himself, but he gets it back. Maya, Zaha, Zaha goes so close. What a chance that was. And it's tricky looking to make a sub because we've played well as a team today. Well, defenders, but we've got to rely on Sako and Dan just to leave them on because might need to make an attacking change, if anything. To bring on Alex Berenguer, because, what, Schlupp? He's looking motivated, and Townsend is still 82%. So it's in a position where, yeah, we don't know. We don't know actually who to bring on. I feel it may be Mayer. Mayer to come off, and then we bring on MacArthur. He's probably the like-for-like sub. And we'll put him central midfielder, but we're searching. We might actually put him on attack there to change it up a little bit. Just give him a team talk and say assertively, and a lot more to come from you. Just deep in thought, but... 
yeah, I wouldn't say we have had too many poor performers, but I'm really disappointed with the defenders' rating. I'm like, is it really? We concede that one goal. Come on, this is where we got to get the goal back. Come on, Beteke! Get in! Get in! Come on! That's what we want. And see, now we'll be a bit more responsible. That's a really good finish. That's why I'm so... I, I guess his composure. His composure is good. He's got 15 for composure. I, I feel I would be so much more comfortable. Even if he had 12 finishing, I think that would be acceptable. Just 11 is like... Sometimes I see strikers in... Like, even in the non-leagues, like, they have 10 or 11 finishing. And I'm like, that's the same level as Benteke, pretty much. Like, I've had lower league... In lower league management, in the non-leagues, I've had strikers with 11 and 12 finishing. It's like the same level as Benteke. Obviously, Benteke more to his game, but the actual one-on-one -on -one finishing level, yeah. But I think Benteke, him having that 15 composure... Yeah, when in those situations there, he's got that cool head, decent enough technique at least. But let me know your thoughts... Does that affect him that badly? Should we just work it in training on his shooting as we don't have additional focus right now? Do we just work on shooting with him? And I like how you can do the additional focus. It's like a, it does a group. It does a group of attributes, not just one. So I like that. But I'd like to work solely on his finishing, to be honest, as well. So, this is where we're going to drop to balance. So, I'm always on the fly with my tactics and instructions. And this could be over a course of the season as well. So, not going to keep these same settings, roles, everything like that. And during games, always on the fly. And now, in FM19, it's more to change up. Because there's three, there's three different ones. So here, for example, we're going to actually take out play out of defense. And we'll just go to a, mid of a, a bit of a mix uh, with, the, with the passing directness there. And the tempo, lower it for a little bit. Even though we haven't been playing on high tempo. And then the defensive line. Uh, the defensive line, we're going to be sitting a bit more, well, lower, like deeper, later in the game because we've got a lead now. We do play with that high line initially. And that's been working not too bad for us. It's good for us uh, It's with our general play. But when we've got a lead, maybe sit back a little bit more. And in transition, we've already got that counter press and counter style. So that's uh, maybe slow pace down a little bit now when the goalkeeper's in possession. So there we go. Just to show you some changes I'll make. But it really depends on the situation. It's not going to be the same every single time. So let's just go. <laughs> let's go back to the pitch there. So yeah, just to let you guys know that my yeah, confirm the changes there. The changes I do make yeah won't be the same every single match. You've got to keep it. It's it's instinct as well. It's I sometimes I get suggestions from people like, oh, what what exact what exact instructions should I put? It's hard to say because for me, it's never exact the same for every season. I want to tell something. If I tell someone something, I don't want them to be using that every single game without making a change for a whole season because that that's not going to work. I have to say that for sure. And here we'll just take Van Aanholt off. We'll bring on Pepe Suare. Milivojevic for Kuyate. Then with playing Kuyate, we probably drop him to defensive mid. Uh, drop him to defensive mid. That Borny midfielder on defend is his role. Yeah, we like to give him. And that's all our changes. So Benteke, he's, he's the one I've doubted the most out of the better strikers in the team. Or from what I expected from him anyway. Because of that 11 finishing. But he stepped up big today. We just need to hold on right now, guys. Because it's not over. There's still two minutes. So a chance is going to come. I'm hoping it's for us. And we just finish him. We finish him. Zaha. <laughs> oh, Wilfred, mate. That's why we want him in that striking position. We don't want to be playing him out on the wing. Sure, he could get in scoring positions. But he'll be where Schlapp would be there. Playing the ball. But no, we want to get that through to Zaha. Because we know. You look at that touch. To put himself in that position as well. That was a great first touch. And then that allowed him to tuck it home so neatly. And by the end of the match now, this is 3-1. And it's looking pretty like a pretty comfortable win. Unless Southampton score a late one. But I'm not anticipating it. Oh, good tackle. Good. <laughs> not afraid to go for those sliding challenges. But yeah, when you look at the stat sheet there. 18 shots in total. But 11 on target. Pretty massive. I think they pegged back possession a little bit more. But, yeah, look. 
three clear-cut chances to one. Will clear-cut chances be more uh, realistic in FM19? Look, it's, we got the same amount as goals, and yep, that's how the match played out. 3-1 <laughs> uh, for clear-cut chances and then the goal. So, or maybe just a one-off. We'll have to see a bit more uh, Yeah, how realistic that will be. So once more, have to say passionately, well done. So yeah, I noticed my improvements in the, I say improvements at first game, but yeah, I definitely knew we needed to make changes. Uh, we did that and I'm, I'm glad you could see the result as well. Uh, not just the result, but the performance, how we went about it. And see, that has set Zaha on a goal scoring streak at the moment. We didn't play him in that cup game. But he, he scored against the big clubs, uh, as you can see there against Liverpool, Manchester City, and Chelsea. So, <laughs> yeah, couldn't score against Leicester, but obviously, yeah, we didn't have the greatest start, and it made changes from then, and yeah, since then, the games he's played, again, apart from the cup one, yeah, didn't get a look in, and then, because we <laughs> we looked to rest him then, and he scored every single game then, since then, so he's great, and he got an assist against Southampton as well, what a game, and one, two tackles, he went in for a couple, so... Yeah, see, you just can't win those headers. You don't expect him to, so that's not something surprising. But at 25, yeah, peak of his career right now. That's why we don't want to let him go. There's no surprise, his interest. But I've put his asking price, 200 million. And I just don't want to let him go. Um, yeah, he could be wanting to leave, potentially. He'd said that before, but I don't think so anymore when a bid came in. I just, when you got a guy that can win games for you like this, you don't want to let him go. And <laughs> Liverpool, they received 500k. He's got the 20 league goals for Palace. I think that was going to come at some point this season anyway, so we had to kind of anticipate that. But how about this? sucko has been killing it. Oh, guys, again, I love this little feature. Training performance ratings and set there for you. You can see the worst training performance, and obviously you can see all your players' ratings uh, for training as a whole, as you can see here. You can see yeah, Sako. But Zaha, yep, Zaha's doing very well. Uh, good week uh, for him. You can see that. I think we just have to praise him as a whole. But no, I'm not going to because I have already. I don't want him to think. Yeah, I did in the previous game, I think, after the previous one against Chelsea. But yeah, it's really cool. And once more, people say, oh, it's the same as FM18. Like, I don't know why people say that. Like, every year, especially this year. <laughs> like, it's there's so many different changes. But yeah, that was it. Unless there's anything crazy with the build-up until West Ham... Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next game. And another thing, this is just a little thing in the social feed. I like how they have the amount of thumbs up for, for certain things. That's really cool. It just, again, makes it feel a bit fresh. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't think that was in FM18, was it? See, even if it's a little thing like that, it's so little to say, oh, if that was the only difference. But if it was it wouldn't be the same game because that wasn't FM18. It was just one difference, even though there's many, like I said, with the training and there's so many things uh, that could come to mind. And like I mentioned already, if you missed when I said that, if you train a player in a new position, when he becomes natural in that new position, the game notifies you. So yeah, it's definitely not the same game as FM18. Hey, look at this. Klopp is coming. Like Liverpool, they need a star striker. They want to a winger, but he's killing it as a striker at the moment for us. He look his composure. That's something we would need to work. We don't have additional focus right now. See, the composure is like what would cover. See, if we do shooting, I don't. Yeah, nothing applies on that. If we do attacking movement, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, final third, okay. Yeah, final third covers that. That's some mental attributes, and maybe a few others we could increase as well. So, yeah, like I said, I really rate that. Another thing, another, these different uh, attributes, but they're grouped together. You can train them together. Another thing that's not in FM18. I'm not going to keep comparing things that are not in FM18 as we could do that for days, you know, but I did want to point it out. But I'm just going to say, yeah, of course, have respect, but yeah, Wilfred is not for sale. Like any manager, um, I don't think it has anything to do with it, but yeah, any manager, regardless, like you're not going to let go of, a player that's starring for you. That's that's just a bad management decision, regardless of the money you'll get coming in. A player that is putting goals into the back of the net, putting the ball into the back of the net, you're not wanting... You're not going to want to sell him, regardless of the price, I don't think, when you've got someone banging them goals in. As much as it would help financially so much. So what do you prioritise there? Say Zaha, you get 40 million or something like that for him, would solve the current situation we're in. But 
Think about it, guys. What would be the difference where we'll come at the end of the season? Keep in mind, maybe if we could sneak into a 6th or 7th um, compared to maybe 11th or 12th, yeah, there'll be... Or, or, yeah, potentially, it's hard to say where we'll finish, you know, but uh, right now we're 7th. And on the form we're on right now, we're on an unbeaten streak. After that first loss against Leicester, after I made the respective changes... I oh, know, I think we can go on a decent run now. I want to put ourselves in a position so we could at least finish top six. Top six. I think realistically, or, or maybe seven. Yeah, top seven, try and qualify for Europa League. And maybe as expected, yeah, Ben Take would make the team of the week. That helped us so much in that match. But this is a real big one for here. See, we're seventh. So, yeah, we've been cruising uh, pretty well. And hopefully to continue this un unbeaten streak, this unbeaten run. And West Ham, they really need a victory. They've already had four losses. They've had some tough games, to be fair, as well. But, yeah, we're starting to hit some uh, good form ourselves. And it's a tricky one because, like, Jordan, I, you haven't seen him in the form he's been. So it's it's tough because Benteke, yeah, now he's on good form. And Zaha. Uh, so Ayu coming back from his food poisoning. So it's not really a physical thing. It was a physical injury. It was just a food poisoning, you know. So, yeah, we'll just... I think maybe he'll come off the bench. And I'm thinking to give Martin... Like, Martin Kelly, he's not too bad. He's got some good mental attributes. If you look to Joel Ward, who hasn't been standouts. He's been solid. But sometimes, yeah, fullbacks are like that. Like, either... Yeah, him and Van Arnold, do we... So, are, how many chances has he got, though? Well, a couple games. A couple starts. So, maybe we'll do that here. Maybe we'll do that. Take Joel Ward off. And if we... And Bisaka, he's a young guy. But Martin Kelly hasn't played at all. So he's going to be making a fuss sooner or later. And he's a good type. He's, he's, um, natural fitness is only 10. So I'm actually not sure about his long-term future. And his contract's running out. So maybe do we play that um, in our minds a little bit. And say maybe he's going to leave. And maybe uh, Juan Bisaka, he's, he's the one to play. He's the rotation to give a chance to. Because he's like the young prospect... At the club, really. And he's in the first team. If we go to the club, yeah, he's the hot prospect. <laughs> yeah, I already checked that. So, hey, maybe that's where. And see, if you look at the past history, I feel Crystal Palace, like we're hitting... that. Look, they were in the championship for that period. Um, and they really struggled. Uh, they really Then they went up again Now in the Premier League. It's like, it was the highest 10th. Uh, last season, 11th. So it's like, now when is the next step going to come? Like, they've actually done pretty well, actually, to be a feel like a mid-table side. Well, 14th to 11th, but yeah, they've had a couple finishes. Like 10th there, 11th, not just struggling like a 15th, 14th, 16th, like every season. So you're just wondering when, when the next, next step up's going to be, and that's what uh, I'm hoping to bring. But anyway, yeah, that's what... Uh, we got to see Juan Bissaka. we got to develop him into the right back in the team. That's where he's going to be playing. He's going to be the main right back. So again, if we compare, because we've got Martin Kelly, it's hard to hard to change. But Joel Ward, Joel Ward is that type at 28 who's, yeah, he's good enough. He's playing that role, but to be more a star, yeah, a star for the team at least. Not a star right back in the league, like one of the best. See how he develops though. And we've got no other outfield injuries. It looks like our squad's pretty big. So we are going to progress into this one. There's no reason to make massive changes anyway. So again, sorry. <laughs> You're going to be seeing that. I say I'll skip that, but I'm so used to just clicking it. I thought I'll just skip that part and edit it out. But that could ruin the flow <laughs> of my commentary. But anyway, yep, if you take a look, West Ham. West Ham has still got some good players. Look at that three, Arnautovic, Felipe Anderson, and Yarmolenko. I feel that's... Then they've got their central midfield. I think it's a bit weak in there. You've got like Wilshere and Noble. Yeah, I don't feel that's creative enough or skillful enough or something or the fitness levels of <laughs> like Jack Wilshere especially. I think we just have to say, yeah, Curry... On from where you finished in the last match, or even just on the recent form as well. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just continue in the kickoff. I won't every single time talk to every player to try and boost their morale heading into the match. So, so it'll be fresh to them when I do actually do that. So let's see. But first, 
only three, four minutes into the game. Could we get an early one? Let's see. Let's see. Bentekas, Bentekas, Christian Benteke and Zaha. They're going to be a great partnership, no doubt. But he's stepping up now. He is stepping up. I th I, because that 11 finishing was on my mind. But he's still got those power in his strike. Again, I want to check out what is his preferred... Like, he's got his move, player strike. Okay, I thought he might have had shoots with power, but he doesn't even have that. But guys, I think he has the ability in him. That's why I wanted to mention. If they don't have the player trait to shoot with power, and their finishing isn't great... I suppose maybe it's down to their technique, but that doesn't always mean they have powerful strikes. I've never really noticed what else would be that, because Christian Benteke, you see him as that type to shoot with power, and he shows that there, but what else in his attributes you can see that signifies that, even when his finishing's not that great? Like, if you forget that's Benteke, if you just take away the name, you wouldn't expect him to finish with powerful strikes. But... You always see Benteke as that powerful type. So let's see. That was a bit of a wasted chance, uh, if I am brutally honest, because we were in a good position. Oh, yes. Townsend. Create this. Set it up. Zaha. Mm. You probably want to be trying getting on Benteke's head, to be honest, there. So Sako is on a yellow, but no, I think we're doing all right. We're cruising. Majority composed and couple calm. We're in a good position. And the player's body language in a good position. Come on! Oh, so close! Sako scores! So it's nice to see we can get a goal from a corner. I think I scored one more in one of the games I played off camera. So you always wonder if your set piece setup is all good. And it seems like the Dan could have scored there, but then Sako was alive to it. And this is a real good position to be in right now. We're getting, yeah, we're getting the play going and we're heading into halftime 2 0. So again, have restricted West Ham fairly well. If we go to the match stats, hey, again, two click cut chances, two goals. They've got zero and zero goals. So that's really lining up right now. So Ray Lewington suggests anything we'd have to say now would be, ooh, we just overcomplicate things. But I have to say, I would rarely do that. We're saying nothing. Do we just leave? Okay. Ray, this is on you. If it works, all good. But if we collapse... Mate, I'm never taking your advice again. Let's see. Because I always would like to praise my players in this that situation. That's what I would have personally done. Ray, I'm never listening to you. I'm not, Why? Okay, we're not going to put it all on him. <laughs> we can't put it all on him, but I'm saying, like, normally I would have. I want to take his advice. See, that was a good tackle, though. No, I don't want to blame that too much. Like, is that bad? If, that was actually a good slide tackle, but it went directly to them, where their player was running on the wing, so I don't know. That was a bit weird. Because looking back on that replay, that was a good tackle. That wasn't bad defending. Ah, man, come on. And now that's a bad pass. Maybe it's the way to try and get him back into the game. You know, they got to think. Or maybe it's just unlucky. Maybe it was unlucky. And then Benteke, possession really well. Come on. Let's get it back. I thought we were getting really excited to celebrate a good win here, but the game is back on. The game is back on, but come on. See, we're controlling it better still. Come on. Townsend. Yes, and it is time to party. No doubt, Gwen Stefani. Come on. I know why I'm randomly making references and rhyming. Sorry, I won't do that again. But <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Townsend. There we go, like I said. But when we play, that's how I feel when we're scoring goals like this. It's just amazing. And yeah, it's a celebration. <laughs> a celebration time when you're playing this kind of football. And it's attractive. It's attractive football as well. I think we're going to take off Maya. We're going to take off Maya and Kuyate, who's actually saying he's wanted to play more. So we've got to, we've got to start him. We've got to start him in some and maybe be responsible, dropping back, defensive mid, defensive midfield position, and ball winning mid. That's his, yeah, that's his role. That's his duty. That's what he loves. Defensive, a uh, defensive role in defensive midfield. Everything just defensive for him. But he's a pretty balanced midfielder at the same time. And in a situation like this, we're going to take off, I'm going to bring on Berenguer. And this is where he can play so many positions. We're in a time in the game where West Ham is going to be going attacking. So Berenguer, at this point, I want to play him in like a natural role for him inside forward. 
put him on support there, and he could be a danger if their fullbacks is pushing forward or something. Yeah, let's see. Again, I've done that in a previous game. Sometimes, yeah, you could continue going this way, but I don't feel West Ham has been a threat. Even though, look, Philippe Anderson is inspired at the moment, but... Okay, ooh. Oh, I'm just continuing. It's not even an FM19 thing or FM18. Like, I'd press pause, just about to press pause, and then a highlight comes up. Like, I felt that has happened a lot in my history of playing football manager. Obviously, I remember in FM18 a lot, because that's recent history. But, does anyone else the same? <laughs> it's funny. I don't know if it's just me or not. Ah, uh, you got to make those challenges... And maybe that was good pressure. That was good pressure. They couldn't get in a good ball. Benteke, really finish him. It's done. If we get another, especially. Kuyate, show me you want to be starting ahead of one of the other two centre mids. Here we go. Oh, look at the play. You've got to get that done. Oh, yes. We're on fire now. And see, now with these videos, we're doing face cam. You can see my celebration. So, yeah, sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just pumped because we, we're killing him. Killing him. So, the combination of Zaha and Benteke... But I want you to get... A, it's only going to be about 10 minutes now. But Jordan Ayu... Benteke is on a hat-trick. You don't normally want to take someone off on a hat-trick, but he's 72% condition, so you don't want to get injured. But, yeah, if anything, Ayu looked more dangerous than Zaha in previous matches, believe it or not. I just want to give him some game time after that food poisoning he got. Come on. Let's see what he can do. Can he get an assist for Zaha? Or Zaha sets up Buenge. Oh, that was a bit embarrassing, that finish. He was in good space there. He was in good space there. So, we're going to hold on. Okay, there's going to be a chance. Unless they change how it works in FM19. When there's at least over a minute remaining. So, yeah, if there's plus four and it's yet to hit 93rd minute then there's going to be a chance, at least. There's going to be a shot. There's going to be an opportunity to hit the back of the net once more. Are you? Or to waste a chance as well, then the opposition will go forward and get a goal. <laughs> that will happen. But at least... I'm glad we didn't concede there, because we had such a great opportunity ourselves, and we'll see how that went close there. But that is, it's never going to be... I feel in Football Manager, that's n like in a game, it's either going to be correct or incorrect. Like, it has to be mathematically correct. You know you know what I mean? Like, because the game will see it. You know, hopefully you understand what my point is. Like, it has to be surely correct in the video game. Like, because you see the evidence, you know. Or it would be an obvious bug that would need to be changed. Anyway, ooh, Ogbonna, he had a poor game. No surprise, one of the defenders... <laughs> yeah, none of their defenders had a great rating, but yeah, when you've got a bad one... That 6.0, yeah, that's not good. And Zaha is just a star. So we'll go passionately and say well done. And yeah, let's continue. What a performance. As we continue our unbeaten streak. Oh, AFC, Rushton and Diamonds. I remember I chose them in a football management game. It was actually an early... It, I can't remember. It wasn't football manager or championship manager. It was, it was just like an online game. I remember choosing that. I just picked them because they had a cool name. So there you go. I don't think if you can you can even manage it. Like they haven't even got real players, so I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. League what was their recent result? Yeah, so I don't know what division they'll be in now. I'm not sure, yeah, I don't think you manage them, but unless you download extra leagues, of course, but uh, just to let you know, I, I managed them once in a game. It was a management game online. I just thought they had a cool <laughs> cool name. <laughs> There's a piece of information. But Zaha's killing it, mate. Like, wow, you're not you're not leaving. <laughs> Like, but the problem is, if you go offer him a new contract, is it, okay, he's willing now, at least, to listen. But when you got, like, Barcelona interested, what would you guys do? Like, Bar they could potentially, you could potentially get 50 mil, 60 mil from him, at least. Or for him, at least. That's huge money for Crystal Palace. But if you, you got this guy winning you matches, you don't want to sell him. Like, regardless of the money. It's like, who are you going to replace him with? Like, who would want to come to Crystal Palace? Because you've got big clubs, Barcelona. No. <laughs> like, we're not going to be able to attract the quality of player that a team like Barcelona is interested in. You know what I mean? 
So, for example, what I want to show you, say, if we had f suddenly 50 million, which we wouldn't get all at the moment of, to be honest, just keep that in mind. If we go to the highest value, okay, we'll take off loan, and we'll click on transfer, and at least slightly interested, and search by maximum value, like, Seamus Coleman is one of the highest there, and I've got Europe as the senior package, just to keep in mind, and I, I want to show you one player, actually, who we would get uh, when we have the money. But yeah, there's no like these are the these are the highest valued players that will want to join. None of these are better, really. No, not even close, and a lot not even in the same position. So that's a really big point of mine. Even if we get that money, would we be able to come in and yeah bring someone uh, like that? But I want to show you this guy, Lucas Paqueta. I think that's how you pronounce it. He's he's 21 years old, uh, recently uh, turned 21, and he starts 20 in the game. He absolutely amazing. Trans it's the interest is unknown and you gotta take a look at his estimated costs as well, but take a look at his attributes. He's a wonder kid in the game as well. I think that changes once he hits 21, because I think it's 20 years old maximum that could be described as a wonder kid at least. But uh, great traits as well. You can imagine him just uh, scoring from range, placing shots, just finishing with absolute class. And I want to make sure no one else nabs him, <laughs> to be honest. I want to keep him for us and hopefully we can make the move and we can afford it. But anyway, I wouldn't want to sell Zaha. Imagine him and Zaha in the same team. I, I feel we need that really creative and starring central midfielder. So, yeah, keep that in mind. But, yeah, we're going to leave it like that for now. Again, if you want to take a look at the, the match, <laughs> you've got some stats there. And, yeah... Uh, Again, at the start of this episode, I or at the end of the last episode, I fixed it with with the ability and potential. I can fix it again, but it kind of every time I load the game, and yeah, continue a little bit, it it goes weird. There we go. We just load it up again, and it's like that. <laughs> I have to do that each time uh, when it stuffs up. But I guess we're gonna leave it there. So we continue some good form. Had two very good games here. Played very very well. So I'm glad you saw those games. I play on camera. I want to be yeah, obviously playing well. You seeing my good form as we push into fourth, which is not too bad. But yeah, guys, leave a big thumbs up. Appreciate those thumbs up, the likes on the video. That really helps out the channel so much. Helps the videos get higher in the search. For more people see my football manager content, which I'm going hard with at the moment. So suggest to your friends as well. I greatly appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time.